It's not unheard of for superheroes in the same universe to find themselves at odds with each other, even to the point of fighting one another in all-out war. Many of the heroes on both the X-Men and Avengers super teams have a comparable hero on the opposing team with whom they match up either evenly or interestingly with. In today's list, we're going through our Top 10 X-Men vs. Avengers matchups. Number 10. Cyclops vs. Vision Scott Summers and the synthetic being known as Vision kick us off with an exciting matchup. Cyclops is traditionally the leader of the X-Men team in the field due to his natural ability to lead others and keep a cool head on his shoulders. Vision operates on what is effectively genius-level intelligence as he has access to virtually unlimited data processing power from his ability to interface with any computer system. Vision's powers include incredible superhuman durability, strength, flight, and being able to fire beams of energy. I am on the side of life. Ultron isn't. He will end it all. Scott lacks the superhuman physical attributes that Vision enjoys, but his mutation of firing optic energy blasts of immense concussive force is substantial. Cyclops also has the capacity to learn how to control the trajectory of his eye beams, making his mutation demonstrably more effective than it would be relegated to a linear path. A battle between these two would be all about distance, if Cyclops could maintain the requisite space to keep Vision on the defensive until he could get a solid blast in, then he would hold the advantage. Still, Vision's superhuman strength and durability would be too much for Scott to handle if he was able to close the gap quickly. Number 9. Angel vs. Falcon Fight! Or they'll kill us both! An aerial battle between Warren Worthington III and Sam Wilson would be far from an earth-shattering one, but it would be an airborne spectacle nonetheless. The two men share being flight experts, however, the difference being Angel's wings coming from his mutation, while the Falcon's wings are mechanical and were supplied to him by T'Challa. From there, the differences in their combat capabilities come down to where they're derived from. Falcon entirely uses advanced technology for his flight, tactical gadgetry, and weapon systems, much in the same way Iron Man or War Machine would. Sees us coming, that won't be a problem. He kinda hates us. Sam is also an expert martial artist, having been trained by Captain America himself in judo, karate, and various other military hand-to-hand -hand combat styles, which his peak levels of human physicality take full advantage of. Warren also possesses peak human levels of strength, but is hiding far more up his wings. As Archangel, he has fully feathered, techno-organic wings, which can be fired as flechettes that hit like bullets powerful enough to pierce steel or surround his body to torpedo himself through most surfaces and remain unscathed. Sam Wilson would have his own wings full when faced with Archangel's wing blades, paralyzing neurotoxin-laden flechettes and internal bleeding inducing hypersonic scream. Number 8. Mystique vs. Black Widow Raven Darkholm and Natasha Romanova are two women who are both experts in numerous forms of hand-to-hand -hand and weapons combat, with both having acted as spies and assassins in some form or another at a given time. Mystique's mutation allows her to assume the appearance, fingerprints, voice, and even the scent of whatever humanoid she chooses. She also enjoys resistance to toxins and diseases, as well as accelerated healing and physiology that ignores the degenerative effects of aging, allowing her to remain at her peak while being over 100 years old. Not until I know you're going to be okay. So come home. Let me take care of you. On the other hand, Natasha has no mutation or superpowers, but what she does have is artificially enhanced physiology via the Red Room's own version of the Super Soldier Serum. This augmented her physical traits to the peak of a human female and beyond. Her agility and reflexes put her on par with some of the most skilled combatants in the Marvel Universe, and she enjoys healing five times that of the average human. Like Raven, Black Widow has extended longevity through the serum, appearing still in her 30s while being born in 1928. A one-on-one -on -one fight between these two femme fatales would take place in a variety of spaces, including long-range weapons fire and setting up distractions to gain positioning before a tense hand-to-hand -hand confrontation that could be anyone's game. Number 7. Nightcrawler vs. Spider-Man Webbing that I developed myself, I don't think you really want to know Come right on, now. let me go! Stop, get off, man! <laughs> Kurt Wagner has perhaps the kindest soul of any of his teammates, in part due to his primarily happy upbringing, performing as an acrobat, and his deeply held religious faith. He is a master acrobat, and also possesses microsuction discs on his hands and feet that allow him to cling to most surfaces. Kurt's mutation is the ability to teleport himself and a limited amount of additional mass in contact with him. 
to teleport, Nightcrawler displaces himself into the Brimstone Dimension and then returns to his own at a certain distance from where he originally was and leaving behind a cloud of dark smoke that smells of burning Brimstone as a residual imprint of the Brimstone Dimension itself. You, you, your kid was right about us! We could help you! Please! On the other hand, the web-slinging wall crawler enjoys the relative strength of a spider, being able to lift objects magnitudes heavier than himself, and Spider-Man can also use his webbing to various practical applications in battle, whether offensively or defensively. A fight between Spidey and Kurt would be especially interesting. While Peter would have a hard time hitting Nightcrawler with anything thanks to Kurt's teleporting, the mutant would have an equally tricky time landing hits on Spider-Man thanks to Peter's Spider-Sense, which would render him all but untouchable. Number 6. Cable vs. Bucky Nathan Summers and Bucky Barnes are two men with vastly different abilities. Being the offspring of Jean Grey Summers, Cable is a powerful mutant telepath with the power of psychometry that allows him to learn things off of objects that he comes into tactile contact with. He can also create telepathic illusions, use mind control, generate psionic blasts, and mind alteration in addition to telekinesis. Due to a techno-organic infection, Cable has superhuman levels of endurance, agility, and speed. He can utilize his powers to rapidly repair any damaged body components, including his cybernetic arm and eye. I guess Dubstep never dies. Bucky Barnes, the Winter Soldier, and former stand-in for Steve Rogers as Captain America, has physical conditioning on either peak or enhanced levels to that of the average human. Both men are proficient in both armed and unarmed combat, with a wide array of martial arts styles and weapons, and each has superhuman levels of strength in their bionic arms. Their durability would be on par with one another in a fight, however, if Cable was able to use his psionic and telekinetic powers long adequately enough, an expert assassin would likely be put at a significant enough disadvantage. Number 5. Beast vs. Hulk Though we have been making some progress on that front. Mystique was recently apprehended. Henry McCoy and Bruce Banner both share brilliant minds. The most significant difference, however, lies in how that mind remains when their powers are at play. While Beast enjoys complete retention of his genius-level intelligence regardless of his mutation, Hulk, in most cases, is a near-mindless machine of rage and destruction with only the most base-level instincts and thoughts rising to the surface. Beast's mutation grants him just into superhuman levels of strength, agility, stamina, and speed, along with a regenerative healing factor and superhuman senses. The Hulk's levels of strength, stamina, and durability are nearly limitless, and although he may not have complete access to Bruce Banner's mind, one hit that could crack a mountain is sometimes more than sufficient enough to get around the whole big, dumb, green rage monster. <laughs> to that end, Henry McCoy would have to find some way to trap the Hulk and incapacitate him, otherwise the not-so-jolly green giant would end up with furry blue goo on his foot. Number 4. Colossus vs. Iron Man I am Iron Man. Peter Rasputin and Tony Stark may not have much in common elsewhere, but they both effectively don metal armor when doing their hero business. Their similarities end there, however. Colossus's mutation allows him to instantaneously convert his entire body tissue into organic steel that retains the same level of mobility that his standard form possesses. While in his armored state, Colossus has superhuman strength, stamina, and durability, and can run at speeds that are the peak of human potential. Not when convenient or easy, when hard, and you always make it hard. On the other hand, Iron Man uses an external suit of armor engineered by his own super genius mind and craftsmanship. Peter's demeanor is naturally quite gentle, but he is also a highly skilled hand-to-hand -hand combatant despite this. His physical strength certainly exceeds that of Tony's, even while armored. Still, the tide of a battle between the two Iron Men would likely come down to how well Colossus would compensate for Stark's vastly superior mobility via his suit's thrusters. He would have to find a way to get his hands directly on the Iron Man suit to render the Avengers' resident billionaire helpless. Number 3. Storm vs. Thor we played together, we fought together. Do you remember none of that? They say fight fire with fire, but does the same apply to lightning? A battle between the Omega-level mutant Storm and the God of Thunder would undoubtedly determine how much merit that truly has. Aurora Monroe is one of the most powerful mutants on the planet. With the very elements of nature at her command, she is able to manipulate the Earth's atmosphere on a molecular level to control the weather. 
That means Storm can live up to her ex mentee moniker and summon hurricanes and lightning through her acute control over the elements. Her mutation even allows her to manipulate the air pressure within someone's inner ear to cause immense pain. The forecast was for sunny skies. Oh, I'm sorry. The God of Thunder, Thor, has no shortage of accolades either, including superhuman strength, stamina, and speed with the aid of his hammer, Majolnir. The Odinson can call upon the forces of the old gods to bring down lightning upon its foes with thunderous effect. With magical and elemental powers effectively on par with one another, this fight would be determined by whether or not Thor gets in close enough to use his hammer with more practical application to put a stop to the battle mighty quick. Number 2. Wolverine vs. Captain America Wait, is that you? Stryker finally figured out how to shut you up. Logan and Steve Rogers are both on paper and in practice relatively evenly matched with enhanced physiologies to the peak of physical human levels. Rogers may have an edge where the enhanced strength is concerned, but Captain America isn't playing with superpowers and that strength will only go so far against a man with indestructible metal covering his skeletal frame and a regenerative healing factor that makes him almost impossible to take down through conventional means. Shield is not what we thought it was. It's been taken over by Hydra. That being said, Wolverine would have to contend with Cap's expert tactician's mind, as well as his skill with his trademark shield made of vibranium and a pro adamantium steel alloy that is also virtually indestructible. This would undoubtedly be a close range combat situation between the two grizzled war vets, with the only actual instances of any sort of ranged attacking coming from Roger's shield throwing. A maneuver he would be wise to cautiously use against Wolverine as that metal disc is all that stands between him and an uncomfortably close shave from Logan's claws. Our number one pick is Jean Grey vs. Scarlet Witch. I'm alright. I want... Few mutants and other super beings, in general, possess power on the scale of Jean Grey and Wanda Maximoff. On her own, Jean is an Omega-level mutant with nigh-rivaled psionic, telekinetic, and telepathic powers but when possessed by the celestial being known as the Phoenix Force, she is a virtually unstoppable force of destruction. Her mutant powers include illusions, mind control, and possession, inducing amnesia, psychic blasts, and siphoning the psychic energy from others. As the Phoenix, she can manipulate matter on a subatomic level and use fire hot enough to reduce enemies to nothing. Wanda received the blessing, or curse, depending on how you look at it, to manipulate the energies of chaos magic. This dark form of magic grants the Scarlet Witch the ability to alter reality, bending it to her will, along with other forms of magic. Her power over the mystical energies is so vast that she was a candidate to be the next Sorcerer Supreme. With the Phoenix Force in play, a battle between these two powerhouse ladies would decimate the Earth around them, and Wanda may not be able to overcome the cosmic being, but with only her normal powers, substantial as they may be, the Scarlet Witch's ability to alter the fabric of reality would result in a very different end. Do you agree with our list? Be sure to comment below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and be the first to receive new top 10 videos from Stream TV.